How's it going, everybody, man? I just want to tune in real quick to let you guys know a couple updates coming out. Um, I need y'all to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button on your way in, and please comment on this video. So basically, there's some new information that came out and a lot of breaking news um, that happened at Yo Gotti's concert, and Moneybag Yo was involved. So basically, he was on stage, and a couple of guys in the front row ran up on stage and actually tried to grab him and do something. So at that time, the security was nowhere to be found. Basically, they were supposed to keep the venue under control so that nobody did anything out of the regular. And that's exactly what happened, basically. So the, the lesson learned is, is not to uh, trust into the security of the venue and to bring your own. So eventually, we all knew that something was gonna catch up and make it so that they can't go to shows anymore. And the fact that it was a lot of people who were there in the front and they saw everything that happened, they were witnesses, but nobody wanted to say anything because if they speak out, they're really gonna think that they're in, in danger or something or in trouble because a lot of people are scared to speak out due to repercussions and some people they call this snitching some people actually get payback and get back but basically money bag yo and them they went down and tried to do a show in mississippi and in mississippi it's far away from memphis so they don't have a lot of cmg supporters on their side out there so the next thing you know man they went to a show and whoever booked them for that show they must have had something to do with the people that ran on stage because I'll tell you what happened. When those dudes ran on stage, nobody stopped them. Like It was like the whole crowd knew what was about to happen next. I think that people had already known that these two guys were gonna go on stage uh, when Moneybag Yo came out right after 30 seconds into him playing the diss song. So look, he tried to play the diss song and it didn't work. It was like 10, 20, 30 seconds into it. And he realized that a lot of the crowd was booing him. And a lot of the crowd was making it so that he couldn't continue on to the show that he was performing. He basically had to stop everything because the DJ, the DJ turned off the music. And the next thing you know, when the DJ turned the music on, that's when you saw two people come out of the crowd and rush the stage and really basically tried to attack Moneybag Yo because they have felt some type of way about the situation, how he was involved with everything that's been happening in the last few months. Um, you know, there's a couple reasons why they could have been mad. Um, you know, I think the main reasons is because Moneybag Yo had two cars he had two vehicles that were seen on the scene. And a lot of people know that only there's only a, one person that has that black Bentley Bentayaga with the way that it looked in that picture. That's the only vehicle that belongs to Moneybag Yo that was on that side of town. So the other vehicle that was seen was when Moneybag Yo was actually at the same gas station as Young Dolph. He was at that marathon gas station he was seen on tape in the surveillance that the manager showed to the police. When the manager showed him the footage of the surveillance, that's when everybody went running out of the back door and you could see exactly how it happened. So basically the manager told him that this was not acceptable at all and that it cannot happen in this store. Like he doesn't own that convenience store just to let people come in and that establishment has a reputation to keep up so what you have to understand is that he did not like basically the activities going around at his convenience store the owners have a strict policy the, the owners have a strict policy they have to adhere to the rules and the policies and their corporate paperwork because the admin the admin is not going to let them access anything if they're basically jeopardizing the entire reputation of this business's name like, you got to understand that it is not 2010 anymore. You can't just run businesses the way you want to. The community has expectations of how you're supposed to behave when you own a business. Like, 
you can't just go and do all these reckless things and cause harm to, to your own community. Like, that's the opposite of what we're trying to do out here. So, man, you have to realize that this isn't this isn't what you thought it was. It was a lot more to the story. Like the fact that the entire crowd was planning on knowing something was going to go down. So when when that song came on and it was disrespectful towards Dolph and PRE, that's when everything went left. They understood that, hey, you can't come to Mississippi and try to play diss songs at a show. You can't you can't come here and try to diss the people that we look up to more, because if you was to do a survey in Mississippi, you would see that a lot more people support Young Dolph and PRE instead of supporting Yo Gotti. So another thing you have to understand is that Yo Gotti was right there with Moneybag Yo in that black Bentley. I mean, if you don't know at this point, that's that's what's going on. Like, how is it that how is it that Yo Gotti is at the same place as Moneybag Yo and Moneybag Yo's vehicles were actually seen on that scene on that day at that same time frame? His vehicle was spotted right there. Like, you got to understand that these facts you can't overlook. That's why you have to subscribe to the channel because we bringing you the facts. Now, another thing you have to worry about and keep in your back of your mind is that everybody's concerned that the narrative is going one way versus the other. What you got to realize is the cookie shop, the cookie shop shouldn't be left alone. The people at the cookie shop have to be responsible for the things that went on. The fact that the body was moved, they moved young Dolph. His entire jewelry was taken. The guy had, when you add everything up, he had approximately 700,000 worth of jewelry on him that was missing. And you can't just overlook that. If they have evidence that somebody did take his jewelry, then they have to do something about it. They can't just sit back and say, hey, we're hearing all these reports that this happened and this happened, but we're not going to do anything about it. So if all of these details are true about the body being moved, the jewelry being taken, money bag, yo's cars being on the scene, yo Gotti planning the whole thing and the involvement of everybody from bottom to up, how are they gonna overlook all of that and not go after the people that actually have something to hide? See, you have to realize that we're trying to show you the the truth and what really happened we're painting you the picture now realize this it's about to be some more breaking news that comes out so subscribe to the channel man like this video i want y'all to hit me in the comment section let me know if you support young Dolph. if you support pre hit the comments so com comment on this video and let us know are you with the cookie shop or are you with young Dolph? so let us know man Hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, man. You guys have a good...